This here is a high voltage lab. That's where I've been spending a little bit of time working on my Tesla coil. And I'll just take you in there now. That's me. And over here is my Tesla coil. It's not completely set up at the moment, but I'll do that later. What we have here is our air supply. When the Tesla coil is running, I have this turned up to 80 psi. It comes down to there. Yeah. And if we follow that through, there we go, oh, here it is, comes down to here, the spark gap, Let's focus there, so the air supply feeds right under the gap electrodes there, it introduces um, fresh air into the gap to try and remove some of the ionised air from the spark, which helps the gap quench properly. Uh, which is a desirable feature of the coil. Um, up here we have our variac. It's just so I can wind the voltage up gently on the capacitors. And the variac comes down here, down through this wire, to these two neon sign transformers. Now, they're 15,000 volt transformers, but the way I've got the gaps set up, uh, the voltage across there never reaches more than 12,000 volts. So those transformers there charge up these capacitors here up to 12,000 volts and when that point is reached the spark gap breaks over and the capacitors exchange energy between themselves and the primary winding there which is the flat winding on the board uh, made of copper tube and as they exchange energy they also pass energy into the secondary winding there which is the toroid with the toroid on top and hopefully when all the energy has been passed from the primary to the secondary the gap goes out and the secondary is free to oscillate by itself now the only connection that secondary has to anything is through a big earth strap which is around here just down here you can see the earth strap which heads off there somewhere and that connects underneath the coil there that's the only connection the secondary has to anything so it's connected to earth at one end and free space at the top end the sparks that come out of it actually travel through the air via capacitance you've got capacitance from the top of the toroid there to ground so that's the path for the sparks to travel through These are the little clips I made, just simple clips from Mitre 10, made it convenient to clip onto the primary winding. So one there, one up there. Um, it's tapped out at about 11 turns. If um, you lower the resonant frequency of the second secondary, uh, these can be tapped further out. Uh, we can be tapped out to here as the resonant frequency drops. Toroid is just standard toroid that they use around here to stop sparks breaking out on high voltage things a little bit of PVC drain pipe to hold it up uh, that's about it really 